a day in the majority province of Pakistan when the government and the opposition in the Punjab Assembly unanimously passed a historic resolution. Please subscribe our channel for latest video. Do not miss to press the bell icon to be first to get the video. Please also share and like our videos. Thanks. According to details, in the Punjab Assembly on October 26, the government and the opposition unanimously passed a resolution to include the column of prophethood in the marriage certificate. Although the resolution has not yet become law. But it will not take long for it to become law. Talking about these changes in the marriage certificate, the Ahmadi community says that the space for Jamaat Ahmadiyya in Pakistan is getting narrower and narrower. According to the text of the resolution, this House of the Punjab Assembly demands from the Punjab government that in order to clarify the difference between Muslims and non-Muslims, Qadianis Ahmadis, etc., the affidavits mentioned in Nadra and passport forms. The proposed marriage certificate form under Rule No. 8 and 10 of the rules framed under the Muslim Family Laws Ordinance 1961 should also include a column with the following affidavit of the end of prophethood. It is a fact that in order to get a passport in Pakistan, one has to sign this affidavit due to the 1974 constitutional amendment in Pakistan under which Ahmadis were declared non-Muslims. Similarly, this affidavit has to be signed in the form of identity card issued by Nadra. The proponents of the resolution include PMLQ member Punjab Assembly Hadija Umar, Basma Chowdhury and PMLN's Muhammad Ilyas Chinioti. The resolution said, This House of the Punjab Assembly demands from the government of Punjab that in order to clarify the difference between Muslims and non-Muslims, Qadianis, Ahmadis, etc., the proposed marriage certificate form under Rule No. 8 and 10 of the rules framed under the Muslim Family Law Ordinance 1961 should also include a clear column of the end of prophethood along with the following affidavit. This oath is as follows. I am a Muslim and I believe in the last, final and unconditional Qatam on Nabiyan of the Prophet Muhammad. I do not believe anyone who claims to be a prophet after Muhammad in any interpretation of the word prophet or any possible context, or who claims to be a prophet or a religious reformer, or a Muslim. I do not believe. I consider Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani to be a false prophet and I consider his followers belonging to Lahore or Qadiani group to be non-Muslims. Government officials have stated that some complaints have been received that Muslim families have been tricked into becoming Muslims by Qadianis at the time of marriage. It is as if many people are getting married but they do not know that the person they are marrying belongs to the Qadiani community. A speech in favor of the resolution was also made by the Speaker Punjab Assembly Chowdhury Purvez Allahi in which he expressed concern over the receipt of such complaints regarding Qadianis. He said. Speaker Chowdhury Parvez Elahi said at the outset that the Punjab Assembly had unanimously passed a law regarding the Quran Act and the end of prophethood. Therefore, it is very important to include the oath of prophethood in the marriage certificate so that all doubts and suspicions can be removed before the marriage takes place. Surprisingly, such an oath is required before issuing a national identity card and passport, then what is the need for this addition in the marriage form? The resolution is currently with the Punjab Chief Secretary from where it will be sent to the Punjab Cabinet for approval. The Cabinet will have three months to ratify it and once approved, it will be implemented in a province with a population of 120 million. According to the rules, these resolutions are also sent to inform the President and the Prime Minister. A similar resolution has been passed by the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Assembly. Now the step is how will this resolution be given the form of law? The earlier Muslim Family Ordinance 1961 existed, it may be amended. According to this, it is possible for the bride and groom and the witnesses to take a separate oath that they believe in the belief in the end of prophecy. Or not. According to Jamaat Amiya, marriage certificates of Ahmadi community are different but legislators must consider the far-reaching consequences of tolerating such decisions in society. 
The growing legislation in the name of religion in Pakistan at the moment is leading society in the fear that intolerance is being created among the people, and as a result, there will be a clear division in society. It is also incorrect to say that Qadianis secretly marry into Muslim families, since both families in Pakistan generally investigate before marriage, and after much deliberation, marriage takes place. Ahmadis say the Punjab government's move is part of a hate campaign against Ahmadis in society, and this is the reason why most of the people leave Pakistan and seek political asylum in other countries of the world. Adding a column of prophethood to the marriage certificate will further separate their community. Chairperson HRCP Hina Jilani says everyone knew their religion well. According to these religions, their parents train them. Hina Jilani believes that minorities in Pakistan have lost the sense of being Pakistani citizens. They live in fear. There is no need to include the box of the end of prophethood in the marriage certificate. People of other religions in Pakistan consider themselves insecure. The change in the marriage certificate may not have a major impact in the short term, but it will be to the detriment of Pakistan as a whole. Punjab Assembly member Khadija Omar says such measures will increase extremism in the society and there will be no fear for minorities. Every religion has its own dignity and its own place. Every religion in the world says that other religions should be respected. He said that Muslims affected by such changes would be safe. Earlier this year, the Punjab Assembly had passed a resolution to write religious words in government offices and on the entrances of the city. In July last year, the Provincial Assembly passed the Protection of the Foundation of Islam, Bill. The website of Jamiat ul Ulum ul Islamia writes in its editorial note, In order to stop this deception of the Qadianis, the Punjab Assembly has done this commendable and commendable work, which should be appreciated and every Muslim especially Pakistani Muslim considers it a need of the hour. Every conscious and honorable Muslim would like it not to be restricted to the extent of passing a resolution, and not only the Punjab Assembly, but also the provincial assemblies of Sindh, Balochistan and KPK as well as the federal government in the form of a bill. Approve, but make it part of the law and constitution. It is a pity that while on the one hand this noble act of the Punjab Assembly is being praised, on the other hand a few gentlemen have also come forward who were apparently not among the victims of this act, but in a way religious wail. Coward, he unnecessarily tried to ridicule such a laudable move which has begun to smell the insult of the sentiments of his representatives in the entire Pakistani nation and the Punjab assembly and the sympathy of the Qadiani class. He made remarks and comments on the resolution which, instead of helping and supporting the Muslims, not only said that the support and cooperation of the Qadianis as cooperation, but also in his commentary sarcastically and mocked the Adan. At the same time, he satirized about Hikamar and Imam that he should also take this oath before Imamate. Some people have also objected to this. The answer is also given in this editorial.
So now I not only support the proposal of swearing on the marriage certificate on the condition that the matter should not be stopped here, but should be taken further, for example, before reading the post of Maulana Sahib's on Facebook, be sure to take an oath of innocence from all tribulations including, do you know if they have been detract for some time now, when the Malvi of a madrasa may go astray, for example, what is the address of an imam sitting in the glare of Walayat. I also suggest that the religious people in the assemblies should be chased away and not just a resolution on this subject. Regular bills should be passed by all the assemblies. Do your best. Marriage seekers and marriage witnesses should also sign the affidavit of the end of prophethood. Since Cardianis have to boycott financially, it should be considered necessary to hang an affidavit in a prominent place in every shop. Every customer should also submit an affidavit. It should be considered necessary to hang it. And yes, before every prayer, Imam Sahib should recite the affidavit of the end of prophethood. You too can be rewarded by adding suggestions for such an important matter of faith. Now, as a Pakistani Muslim, think for yourself whether what he has written is an interpreter of the Muslims or a supporter of the Qadianis. You decide the fact is that if such religious masks were not in the names of a few gentlemen, then every reader of this text would say the same thing and think that it was written by Qadianis or a pro Qadiani who wrote to please them in this session of Punjab Assembly. PMLNMPA Rahila Kadim Hussain brought bangles for Prime Minister Imran Khan and Punjab Chief Minister Usman Bazdar. Mirza Javed reached the Punjab Assembly on a bicycle in a unique protest against inflation. Thanks for watching our video. Please share like and subscribe our channel and do not forget the bell icon right side of the video that you will be the first to get our latest videos.